Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the brand new for 2020 Papo Chilisaurus. Now, Chilisaurus is, well, kind of a big question mark, as we really don't know where it lies on the dinosaur family tree. It's been considered a theropod, an ornithischian, and even it's got some affinities to sauropodomorphs. I remember in its original scientific description, it was described as enigmatic, which I think is the best way to describe it. It lived during the late Jurassic in Chile, as you can probably guess, about 147 million years ago. And it was thought to be a herbivore. And that's about as much as I can tell you. So without further ado, let's get into this brand new model from Papo. Now, as to be expected from Papo, the detail on this model is of course fantastic. When you see the head, the jaw is in fact articulated and you can see just from looking at the size of my thumb and fingers, just how tiny this head sculpt is. The eye looks fantastic and you can see the the paintwork looks very similar to the uh, the paleo art that was released alongside its original description. I, the name escapes me of the artist at the moment, I'm afraid. You can see the nostrils have been painted, and the very distinct beak, and very odd teeth have been sculpted in there, and the interior of the mouth just looks fantastic. I love this orangey yellowy, very pale brown colour that's along most of the body. Whoops. <laughs> and then we've got this very dark greenish bluish kind of colour around the eyes and on the back of the neck as well. It looks really nice. The articulated jaw looks really good. And we've got a very long neck which Chilisaurus is known for. I like the very subtle gradient to a more of an orangey red colour as we go down the neck. And we've got these very faint brown stripes as well. And when we get to the arms, this is probably the worst part of the model. As one of the few things we do know about Chilisaurus is that it would have most likely been bipedal. And yet Papo of for some strange reason decided to pose it as a quadruped walking on its two front legs as well, well just one front leg but I find this so odd because the, the limbs themselves aren't even right they don't have the right number of digits on the front limbs they should have three digits and they've only given them two they've kind of got like tyrannosaur looking arms when we look at the other side you can see this one looks a little bit better they've had to pronate the wrist for this one to get it flat on the ground maybe they had trouble with stability but even still I just find it so odd that one of the few things we do know that, that we're pretty confident about with this dinosaur is that it would have walked on its back legs and yet Papo in one of the, as far as I'm concerned the first major figure of this model have put it on four legs for some reason I just find that so odd now the back legs, there's very nice musculature and I like this very faint green colour we've got going down the legs but unfortunately when we get to the feet we also have another accuracy problem as another thing we did know about Chilisaurus is that it would have actually walked on four toes which is unusual amongst theropods and also ornithopods and really Ornithischians as well, which again, I find it so weird how Papo just, they just, they've just dropped the ball on that again, which is such a shame. And we get to the tail, the tail looks pretty good. I'm not sure if this curvature is within the animal's range of motion, but I don't think it's that big of an issue. Now, they've chosen to portray it as scaly which I understand because Papo do very good um, scale detail, but Chilisaurus may have had some kind of feathering. So I, I can see why 
they didn't go for the feathers because I, I think Papo know that they're better with scales. But still, it probably would have been nice if we could have had some kind of integument as well as scales. We've kind of got these spiky ridges along the back here and also on the throat, which you can just barely make out, and on the underside of the neck. But yeah, this somehow they've managed to make Chilisaurus even stranger than it already was. Okay, well, let's see how big this figure is. So in terms of the length, you're looking at about pretty much exactly 15 centimeters long. And then in terms of the height at the base, uh, well, not the base, but like halfway down the tail, you're looking at about just over eight centimeters. Okay, so that's the Papo Chilisaurus. I, I, I'm, I'm really just puzzled by this one. The, the pose just seems so odd to me, but it's really well detailed, and there are a few accuracy problems, which is so odd to me that Papo made some of the choices they did when it came to this figure, but. Overall, I, I like how it looks. It's just a shame about the accuracy problems. And I think a bit of feathery integument would have would have worked as well. But we didn't get it, but that's that's okay. What is there, I think, is generally pretty good. Like I think that the head, I think, is fantastic. I think the head look is by far the best part of the model. It's just a shame about the basically just the the hands and the feet really, but I think that's all I have to say about this model. If you would like one for yourself, I got mine from EverythingDinosaur.com. They only just recently came into stock there. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now. Thank you.